Hey, welcome back to our weekly silver unboxing, Silver Stackers. I'm Florida Stacker, and we've got some silver to show you. So silver today has crossed above $28, and the price of an American Silver Eagle is now well over $40 from all of our popular online bullion dealers. So let's talk about some silver that's a little bit cheaper to stack. That's what I've got today. Stay tuned. Let's get to it. Hey, welcome back YouTube. So as mentioned in the video intro, silver has crossed above 28 US dollars. I currently see silver at a spot ask price of $28.11. That's the highest we've seen it in, uh, well, quite some time. We did see obviously earlier this year, silver almost crossed that uh, and stay above 30 US dollars. But this has been a more steady march in a northward direction. So maybe silver will hold this time. I think it will. As mentioned, Silver Eagles are now well over 40 US dollars. And if you were stacking just a couple years ago, you could pick up ASCs below $20. So if you were stacking a few years ago, congratulations, pat yourself on the back. In today's video, I've got a little bit cheaper silver to show you. If you remember last week, I had some of these 90% silver BU dimes. Now, I like the BU stuff because I'm not really stacking a whole lot of it. And if you can find the BU stuff at a price pretty close to the circulated price, of course, circulated dimes being dimes that, um, you know, obviously have some wear on them. These look pretty much brand new. These look just as good as anything coming out of the mint today. Actually, might even be better because they're made out of silver and not clad in uh, pretty much worthless base metals. So, these silver dimes here, we're going to go ahead and add to that stack. I did pick up 15 more dimes off of eBay to finish this tube. These were the cheapest BU dimes I could find. And they actually came this way. I opened the package up, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes ago and saw that they are each labeled. So you can see here that we've got a 1950 Denver, 1951 Denver, 52 Denver, 53, 54, and 55. So these are sequential silver BU Denver dimes. Unfortunately, I'm not building books here. I'm not much into collecting. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that's because I'm actually saving in precious metals. And um, it, it just, it's just what I like to do. All right. No problem. No issues with collecting. I do collect a little bit of silver, uh, but more or less, I'm looking to build wealth in a physical, tangible savings account, get away from the banking system. Also have four of these Beautiful 2021 Silver Britannias. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, we've been working on a tube kind of on and off as I stack some South African Silver Krugerrands, um, some Silver Canadian Maples, as well as uh, American Silver Eagles. Now, I've been kind of staying away from the Silver Eagles for the reasons that we stated in the beginning of this video. The premium on the ASE being $12 to $13.00. Um, I just don't feel like throwing that away right now. Now, I know that the actual price of silver is, of course, the spot price plus the premium. I'm good with that. Uh, but when we're adding those two factors together, I can pick up this Silver Britannia today on JM Bullion in the $33 range. Whereas it's going to cost me $41 to $42 to buy a Silver Eagle. So someone like me who's looking to put about five ounces of silver per week away in savings... I can buy more of these Britannias than I can the ASEs. So that's what I'm stacking. Let's go ahead and set this coin down and get that tube popped open now. All right, so here is the tube of 2021 Silver Britannias. You can see I'm using a Medallion Guardhouse 66 tube. This will hold 20 of the Silver Britannias. It will also hold Silver Krugerrands and pretty much all of your generic silver rounds. I use the Medallion 66s for um, those three coins, well, slash rounds. Um, any silver round, Britannias and Krugerrands are going to fit in this tube. You can get these off eBay, Amazon. Uh, do your own due diligence. It doesn't take long to do a Google search. I don't need to be the one to tell you where to find these. You can find these at coin shops, Amazon, and eBay. There you go. Problem solved. So got 10 in the tube now, and we've got four more to show you. So a little more than five ounces this week. Um, I want to talk to you real quick about the end game here. And as you know, I live in the United States, and I've argued for the fact that when you're stacking, you should be looking to stack your nation's coin. Well, I don't live in Great Britain, 
So what am I going to do with this Britannia here in the future? Well, I will tell you, if you look back in time, especially last year, getting around December, um, the premiums on the American Silver Eagle and foreign silver coins were becoming very much on par. There was actually a very brief couple of week period. And for my serious stackers, especially those that follow this channel, you know what I'm talking about here. When the maple leaf became more expensive than the American Silver Eagle, that was around December of 2020. Now, it wasn't that way in the beginning of the year after we saw the epic market crash in March due to the virus. You know what I'm talking about. We've all had to deal with um, premiums on American Silver Eagles, American Gold Eagles, American Gold Buffaloes, American stuff here in the United States really went high. That drove me to the silver maple leaf as well as stacking some of the other foreign silver coins because the premiums were much lower. The weight in silver is the same. And it's actually pretty nice to see some of these beautiful coins from around the world. Then there was also the change in uh, opinion of these coins from my local coin shop. So due to the silver crunch slash squeeze and it becoming a little bit more difficult to find physical silver over the last 12 months, uh, my coin shops really began to warm up to these Britannias, Krugerrands, Maple Leafs, uh, a lot of the other stuff out there that we're stacking. So I went ahead and picked up four more of these. We'll bust these other three out of the two. But I want to tell you that when the premiums of the American Silver Eagles come back online with some of the foreign silver coins, that will be the time that I will likely transition out of these foreign silver coins back to American Silver Eagles. And if a situation arises again in the future where the premiums on ASCs as of today really spike high, I'll just stop stacking them for a while. Now, the end game is to have a lot of American Silver Eagles, and therefore I will likely trade out of Britannias and Krugerrands in the future when they're considered roundabout equally valued. And that's going to happen. Um, I'm patient. I'm stacking for the long term. So I wanted to let you know kind of that long game for me is to continue adding American Silver Eagles to my stack. Just not going to be buying a whole lot of them right now because I would rather take that 7 or $8 in premium that I would pay for the ASC. And I'm not buying one, right? I'm buying five. So do the math, right? If I'm buying five ASCs right now and I'm paying $8 more in premium than I am for the Silver Britannia, well, eight times five, okay? I can buy another silver coin and still have money left on the table. So I can really get about six ounces in the Britannia when I can only get five in the Silver Eagle. So in the future, when the premiums of the Britannia, the Eagle, the Maple, the Krugeran, when they all kind of get nice and tight as they were towards the end of 2020, when things kind of started to calm down a little bit in silver, that was a good opportunity, of course, to accumulate Silver Eagles and to maybe transition out of some of your foreign silver coins if you're here in the United States and into those ASEs, because as we know, when silver gets hot, as it tends to do, the ASE premium really runs up and the value, therefore, because we're talking about spot price plus premium, makes the American Silver Eagle the most valuable one ounce silver coin, uh, investment grade silver coin in my stack, right? I can get more back from them by selling them to my coin shop, by selling them on the secondary market than I can with these coins. But that's not always going to be the case. I don't know when that opportunity is going to come around, um, but I will be looking for that opportunity. So in the meantime, we're going to continue to stack these. So let's go ahead and lay this here in front and grab the other coins out. All right. So here you go. Now, these Silver Britannias uh, are really beautiful. They're much more reflective than some of the other silver coins that I like to stack. I kind of actually do have a preference for the matte finish. Um, but there's no denying the beauty of these coins. And fortunately, the coins that I've been getting lately, mostly from JM Bullion, uh, are not showing any milk spots. And the queen is not all dinged and beat up like um, it was very common with the Queen's Beast 2-ounce silver coins that I stacked last year. So I'm really happy with the quality that I'm seeing out of this, um, you know, the more recent acquisitions of the Silver 2021 Britannias. So let's go ahead and grab this tube and we'll go ahead and add the next two coins and we'll grab those other two out. So this is going to put us to 14 of the silver 2021 Britannias for this year. Um, I'm well over 100 ounces of silver stacked. I've got a little more than 60 ASCs, a full tube of Krugs. Well, 20 Krugs, so that puts me at 80. Um, I've actually got 65 of the 2021 ASCs. 
Uh, 20 roundabout of the maples. We'll be doing an unboxing of five more silver maples here soon. Um, and obviously some generic silver bars. I think I've put away about 150 ounces so far this year. So I'm right on track. And for those of you that are really new to the channel, um, I buy about five ounces per week, okay? I like to keep a budget. I, uh, I don't run out and buy thousands of ounces, hundreds of ounces uh, at one time and just hold. I'm running a YouTube channel, plus I like to save on the regular. Uh, silver keeps me engaged, right? Keeps me accountable to my budget. I look forward to saving money in silver. Um, it's really the, great, the greatest way, in my opinion, to save in physical metals because you're saving currency, right? Putting it into real money, but you're actually getting to make a purchase, unlike just uh, moving money from your checking account, your dollars, yen, whatever, into a savings account, which is earning absolutely zero interest. And we know what's going on with the value of fiat currencies. Uh, they're all currently devaluing away, right? So that's making assets such as gold and silver, real estate, pretty much all commodities during 2021 with the inflation we're seeing due to the uh, high scale <laughs> printing from all of the reserve banks. Um, that's going to continue to go on, right? We're raising the debt ceiling every year, and therefore, there's a lot of inflation in assets right now, and silver is definitely hot, which is why we're seeing these premiums. So in order to stay away from the premiums as best as I possibly can, 90% silver, generic 10-ounce silver bars, and these silver Britannias offer a really great option. So there you go, 14 of them now in this tube. I'll go ahead and put the packing peanuts back in when the video is over, and we do have, of course... Our dimes. So continuing on, 56, 57, 58. Looks like we're missing 1959. We got a couple in the 58 and 61 variety. And then a 64. So I'll go ahead and pop these out and we'll add that to this tube here of silver dimes in BU condition. So now we've got uh, three full tubes or $15 face in BU silver dimes. Going to be doing one more tube and then we'll move on to the quarters. Not only, am I looking, not only am I looking to stack silver on this channel and bring it to you to show you, I'm also looking to add a little bit of variety to my stack as well because it keeps it interesting for me, first of all, and allows me to show you the different types of silver you can stack on the YouTube channel. So there you go, guys. Four more silver Britannias, 15 more silver dimes. So 15 silver dimes. That is 1.0851 troy ounces. So we did get a little more than five ounces this week. And in case you're wondering, 15 silver dimes today is worth the melt value, that is, $30.50. So 15 of the 1964 and older silver dimes, $30.50, not quite the dollar and 50 cents in face value. So there you go. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you watching today's video. Keep stacking, and we'll see you soon on another Precious Metals Focused video.